what it does is um, sage is used to chase away all negative spirits everywhere. Chases them away. Some people that uh, there was a woman who died here years ago. Many many years ago, and she died of a painful death, and she cried out many times. And her spirit is still here. And we're trying to release her, turn her away, and make her go, go to the spirit world. Son esprit toujours dans la maison, et la sauge a donc fait d'aider son esprit à partir dans le monde de l'esprit. There has also been many children born here inside this house. Many babies were born inside here. Il y a eu beaucoup d'enfants qui sont nés ici aussi. But the woman who had the children was in pain every time the children were born. <coughs> Throughout the night um, I was awakened three times, awakened by the cries of the woman. And that's not including the women that were snoring last night. Elvira a dormi ici cette nuit avec trois autres quatre autres personnes. Cinq autres. On était combien? On était euh, cinq. cinq. On était cinq. On était six avec les mdir. Avec les mdir. Ouais. Dont trois femmes. Ça se passe très stantier. J'ai dormi ici. Oui, 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 oui. oui. <rire> Et nous ne saurons jamais. <rire> Most of you will find out to the time that I'm here that. I laugh a lot and I tease people a lot. You know, and that is my way. I don't like to be considered a medicine man that completely, you know, puts him, isolates himself and hides behind, you know, the wings of the eagle. You know, I like to be with everybody and laugh because to me, the laughter is part of the entire teachings to, to laugh to learn to laugh at yourself. And if you can laugh at yourself, then your problems are halfway finished. So learn to laugh at yourself. Pendant le séjour, on s'apercevra qu'il aime rire et taquiner les gens, et qu'il ne veut pas être considéré comme un médecin man, c'est son terme. Euh, confie dans son sérieux. Confie, oui. confie dans son sérieux. Il se cache derrière son, son rôle et tout ça. Et il pense que le, le rire est quelque chose d'important et que quand on arrive à rire de soi-même, la moitié de nos problèmes sont en fait déjà résolus. There are different things in, in life is sweet grass. In, in German language, they call it the marina grass, which is we call the sweet grass, which is used when you burn this, it brings all the negatives and the positives, and they come. Negative and positive, everything in spirit. They like the smell of this marina grass, this s sweet grass. So when you burn it, all of them come. It's part of the ceremony. Ceremonies are for everyone, negative and positive. The good and the bad. They have to be here to be partake in the ceremonies. But this is a ceremony to the Creator, you know, not for ourselves. So when we burn the sweet grass, they come. Il y a une herbe, sweet grass, je ne sais pas ce que c'est. 
quand on la brûle, elle attire les énergies positives et négatives, tout ensemble. Parce que les deux énergies sont, sont partie prenante de la cérémonie. Si jamais et, de trouve, et de l'être humain. Et de l'être humain. Donc, euh, on ne fait pas euh, une cérémonie et on ne brûle pas seulement ces terres pour soi-même, mais pour le créateur. This area of Europe, sweet grass, its original name in this area is marina grass. Marina, marina grass. You will find it in maybe in even in your dictionary, marina grass. You know, that's the name of it. In case you want to look for it, you know, among the farmers, you can find marina grass. But that's not the grass you you did. No, 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 no. I'm getting to that. <laughs> yeah. Everything I talk about, there's a reason why I talk about it because I'll come back to it later. De chaque chose qu'il parle, c'est important parce qu'il en parlera plus tard. Cedar. The cedar is used as an incense to purify rocks coming inside the sweat lodge. The cedar, no. It's not the tree or here inside? Yeah, the cedar tree. Oui, c'est les résines en réalité, c'est pas les cèdres. Ah bon, la confusion est déjà là. Peut-être que c'est une mère précédente. Donc c'est les résines. Des oui. résines. Des résines, oui. Oui, oui, euh, résines, oui. Des Et pas les sapins, ce genre de choses. Mm -hmm. Les résines sont donc importants parce que quand ils sont utilisés comme encens, ils pu purifient les pierres qui rentreront dans la hutte de sudation. After the sweet grass and the, sage, and the cedar is used as an incense to burn, bringing all these negatives, when we're like when we're loading the pipe and doing a ceremony, or doing any kind of ceremony, when all these negatives and positives come, after they come, then we burn the sage, and that releases them. All the negatives who come. What you're saying is you can go now. You know? You're releasing them. Everybody has been invited. They all came. Now the negatives are asked to leave so that the positive can be there to help you in your guidance to life. So there is you know, this feeling <coughs> that when you people burn incense but they don't know what they're doing. They burn all kinds of incense, but they don't know what they're doing. They just do it to make a room smell good. Quand on brûle des résineux et la marina crasse, sous crasse, on attire les énergies positives et négatives parce que tout le monde est invité. Mais après, on brûle de la sauge pour dire aux énergies négatives de partir. Oui, c'est ça. Ah. Ouais, il disait que les gens aussi, euh, ils voulaient de la cendre un peu n'importe comment. Et euh, qu'ils le faisaient de surtout pour une bonne odeur de l'encens. Et qu'ils ne savent pas en fin de compte ce qu'ils qu font. Voilà. So, when we. <coughs> and there's other things 
when a house a house is haunted this house is not haunted but it is spirits of the past who lived here who have gone hundreds of years ago who they didn't do a proper ceremony for them they did a Christian ceremony. A Christian ceremony is to just lower you in the ground and forget you. But to pray for them and guide your way beyond to the spirit world. And you find people who are walking in the room, being here, to release them to release them so they can go on to the spirit world. And that is what we are trying to do. In this house, there are a lot of people who have lived and who are dead. But they have been done to liberate their spirit. It has been a Christian ceremony that has not been sufficient. Les chrétiens, on enterre généralement les morts et on les oublie. Et tout ce qui vient d'être fait, c'est pour libérer les esprits, pour que les esprits des gens qui ont vécu ici rejoignent le monde de l'esprit. And to release, to release spirits to the spirit world is to use cedar. Cedar then is burned for four days and four nights, every morning, every evening, every house, every room, you burn cedar inside. And on the fourth day, the house is completely pure. All the spirits who stayed here will go on to the spirit world. They don't stay here anymore. So cedar is used for that, to <coughs> let the spirits go to the spirit world. Le, le cèdre, en, le résineux. Le résineux, oui. Merci. Le résineux euh, a la possibilité, quand on va le brûler pendant quatre jours, le matin et le soir, et au bout des quatre jours, les esprits des gens qui ont vécu ici seront libre de partir dans le monde de l'esprit. C'est le ça fait partie des choses qui vont se passer pendant les quatre jours. When you don't release them and you move into a house like this, you don't know who lived here before. You don't you only know to maybe hundred years ago, when before that. And what went on here? What took place? Children born people dying. When you move into a new house, that's what you must do, is four days for cedar. If you don't do it, then the supernaturals come. The supernaturals are spirits that work for negative. <coughs> they work for the negative and they cause problems with you. Everything you do doesn't turn out the way it's supposed to. And that has to do with everything from electricity to building. They, they make it so that it doesn't, you can't do nothing right. Everything you do is wrong. And that's what they do. They're here. And they, they do that and they laugh at you. But you don't know that. So you just go on with your life thinking you're doing something right. But then there's somebody laughing. You know, they, you wonder why this don't work. Those are put in different ways. You know, and, oh, so you have to do when you move into a, in a house like this. You have to do a ceremony for four days. Then after the fourth day, then you continue with whatever you have to do in the house. Quand on vit dans une maison comme ça, comme celle-là, très ancienne, où pendant des centaines d'années des gens ont vécu. Et, dont on, et une maison dont on ne connaît pas l'histoire, 
il faut faire, les, il faut faire la cérémonie de brûler des résineux pendant quatre jours pour libérer la maison de, des esprits. Parce que si on ne fait pas ça, on, a, on, a, on fait appel aux supernaturels. Les supernaturels sont des esprits euh, négatifs mm -hmm. euh, qui, qui sont là, qui nous observent et qui se moquent, euh, qui se marrent en voyant que tout ce qu'on essaye de faire dans la maison ne, ne marche pas bien. On essaye de, 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 de construire des murs, des choses comme ça, et tout, tout ne marche pas. Et ils se payent un, un bon moment de plaisir à nous regarder faire, et ainsi de suite. Ouais, moi j'ai compris ça différemment. Oui, j'ai com compris ça de la façon suivante, c'est qu'effectivement il y a le supranaturel qui entre donc, euh, dans l'appartement, dans la maison, et que quoi qu'on fasse, avec cette présence, que ce soit à l'intérieur de la maison ou à l'extérieur, on, on est chargé par ces énergies négatives, c'est pour ça qu'il est nécessaire de faire une, plus ou moins une, une brûlée de, de l'encens. Je voudrais juste préciser une chose. Euh, bon, je me trompe peut-être, mais je crois que le supernaturel dans son langage, ça veut dire quelque chose de très précis. C'est... Attendez, je me, je me trompe peut-être. Euh, Excusez-moi, c'est le réel. Non, ouais, je crois que je me trompe. Merci. Merci. Euh, Demande-lui ce que c'est. Oui, sur supernaturel. Oui. Voilà. Euh, c'est donc une catégorie d'esprits euh, qui, je crois, sont assez facétieux. Euh, c'est quelque chose de très précis. Hein, c'est pas des entités euh, abstraites négatives ou des choses comme ça. Mais... Ça va être la vie. Il a quand même dit qu'ils étaient négatifs. Oui, il a dit ça. Ah, ah, c'est précis. We are wondering about supernatural. Um, well, you will be confronted with it in the next few days anyway. <rire> All of us. Nous tous, nous serons confrontés. On va tous se confronter au super naturel dans, dans peu de temps, dans les jours à venir. The old people in these countries of Europe and all over the world, they have lost touch with supernaturals, and they have maybe only one or two. Among the Irish people, they have only the Malahuni, you know, or not the Malahuni, but the leprechaun. C'est les trolls et compagnie. Trolls et gnomes. And they only have that, you know, and in, in, in a dramatic world. People, they have it in their gardens. They have a little man sitting there, you les know, with a funny little cap, you know. And they want to make it look cute, but it doesn't look cute. The supernaturals are not very cute to look at. You know, they're... <laughs> Joli mignon. They don't look too nice, you know, they, they look like miniature monsters, you know, miniatures from another world, you know, and they, they are here to create problems for you, they, but there are minor problems, they are not positive, they do problems for you that are, that are funny, like you fall out of bed and you don't know why you fell out of bed. Or you do something, you know, they, they even make you go to the toilet in your pants, or whatever they want to do. They're there, they're human. Everything human that is involved with human beings, they are there to trip you, you know, to, to make you do some things, you know, that you don't normally do. And it's the time of, not a, they're trying to teach you, understand your body. Understand your body, that's what they're trying to teach you. <coughs> Try to understand your way, your body, your capabilities. Don't go beyond your capabilities. If you cannot, if you are not meant to jump out of a tree, don't jump out of a tree. They try to teach you these things. And every time you try, they trip you. Les peuples d'Europe, enfin les gens d'Europe, ont perdu le contact avec les supernaturels, sauf euh, en Irlande. J'ai oublié les noms exacts. Oui, a, mais je ne les connais pas non plus. Mmh. Enfin, il évoque les trolls, les nains, les, les, trolls, les, nains, les, 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 les elfes et tout ça. Et, ces gens-là, sont le, le but de leur existence, c'est de nous tester. Et ils nous font prendre... Ils sont à l'origine de tous les petits problèmes mineurs du genre euh, on tombe du lit sans savoir pourquoi, euh, on, fait, on fait dans nos pantalons sans savoir qu'on fait pourquoi, 
tout simplement parce qu'ils veulent nous faire comprendre toutes, euh, toutes les limites de notre corps, tout ce dont on est capable et, tout ce, et par conséquent tout ce qu'on n'est pas capable de faire. Et si on n'est pas capable de sauter d'un arbre, de ne pas le faire. Et ils sont là pour, pour nous enseigner notre corps. Ils sont comme des garde-fous. The supernaturals, in our teachings, we have eight of them, eight supernaturals. Of the greatest of these supernaturals, which we are called, sometimes our people call them negative gods, of these eight ones, Ksa, the goddess of the water, is the greatest. Tous les supernaturels qui existent chez, dans, leur, dans leur monde à eux, il y en a huit et il est, ça, pardon, ça, 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 est ça est la déesse de l'eau et est la plus importante. I will tell, tell you little stories about these. It really has nothing to do with humans, only the names that we try to change it from English to for, from our language. Anungite, which was the first one. If you can look at them, you can just follow them. Iktomi. The, the Anungite is known as the double-faced woman, meaning he can tell you one thing but does it the other. But it really doesn't noth nothing to do with the woman. It has to do with anything, anybody, who tells you one thing but does another. Anungite. Then there's the Iktomi, the Spider-Man. The Iktomi, the Spider-Man, brings messages but it's never the truth. It's rumors that he brings. Rumors of lies. Iktomi brings you a message. You know? He brings you a message of deceit, lies, and he tries to create a problem for you also. And you believe in him. You believe right away. Somebody says something about your friend, and you tell him and it goes all the way and it comes to him and then he tells you then you have to go talk to your friend or is, is, a, is a human goes talks to the friend and ask him, is it really true what I, what I have heard you know? then your friend will tell you no it's not true and he'll tell you the reason so that person who told all these people heard it and they told a different story the stories of Iktomi. Uh, we have tales to teach our children. Iktomi is also this one of the supernaturals. Kanka, which was known as the witch. The old the old woman, the witch. Who uses witch? The old woman is a person who works with the negative vibrations of plants negative vibrations of trees, negative vibrations of roots of trees. They work with negative. The positive they don't work with. Negative of every plant. You come to take a plant and the plant, you know, you take it. You must stop and pray with this plant before you take it. Because if you don't, this one is there, Kanka. The negative is there. And it says, take me, take me. And you are only human. You are here to serve the Creator. That is your sole purpose in life. 
you are the creator of you is the 16 great mysteries that's your creator you are not a creator of the great spirit you are the creator of the 16 great mysteries from these great mysteries you have come and that's why you are here I'm not going to stop and see <laughs> Sur la page, il y a un, une, un, un essai de traduction des noms des, super, des supernaturels dans la langue Lakota en anglais. Je n'ose pas dire le nom parce que... Anogeti, Anogeti c'est la femme à double face. Qui, la, le fait d'être femme n'a rien à voir. Par, euh, par, euh, en tant que sexualité, en tant que c'est un côté plutôt qu'un autre, c est, c est une, ça représente plus le fait des, de n'importe qui qui dit quelque chose et qui fait autre chose. Le double face est dans ce sens-là. Euh, une dualité. Oui, oui, une dualité. oui, mais, oui mais très très, très très grande, quoi. Une, une espèce de contradiction, contradiction oui. interne permanente. Penser quelque chose, faire autre chose, dire quelque chose, agir encore autrement. Ne jamais avoir d'accord interne par rapport à, à son penser, son dire et son faire. Ictoni, c'est l'homme araignée. Je vais le penser. C'est le porteur des fausses rumeurs. Ah voilà, c'est le, le porteur des fausses rumeurs, de, des mensonges, de, de tout ce qui est illusion, fausse. Qui, qui, et qu'on a envie, et qu'on a envie de, de croire, hein. on, on le croit très facilement. Euh, Kanka, c'est la sorcière, la vieille femme. C'est la personne qui prend le négatif des fleurs, des plantes, des arbres et des racines. Ça, des tout ce qui est végétaux. Tout ce qui est végétaux. Et elle prend. Elle représente. Elle représente. Elle représente. Elle prend la force négative des choses. Ouais. Elle représente la elle force représente. négative des plantes. Quand du cueil. Oui, elle a. a J'ai cru qu'elle prenait la sent... force négative des fleurs parce qu'elle ne leur parlait pas, elle ne priait pas. Non, c'est toi qui, lorsque toi ouais. tu prends une fleur sans, sans prier avant de la prendre, ce que tu prends c'est comme cas, c'est-à-dire la force négative et pas la force positive. Ouais, ça, parce ouais. qu'avant de prier une plante, d'abattre un arbre, il faut que tu pries, que tu te mettes en harmonie avec lui de manière à ce exclusivement les forces négatives de la plante. Donc elle représente les forces négatives. Elle représente. Tu as compris l'histoire des 16 mystères Ah ouais. Kanka, ça représente le, aussi le plus grand des, du 16e mystère. C'est-à-dire qu'on travaille pour le créateur, mais que le plus grand des mystères, c'est ce, qu'on se crée nous-mêmes. On ne crée pas le créateur et on ne crée rien sinon nous-mêmes. Nous, nous sommes issus ouais. des 16 mystères. Ah bon. Nous sommes issus des 16 mystères. Euh, les 16 mystères, vous les trouvez, euh, ce sont les 16 branches de la Sweat Lodge. Ça n'a pas de rapport avec Kanka. Nous sommes donc issus des 16 mystères. Les 16 grands mystères de la hutte de sudation qui représentent donc la terre, la vie nous-mêmes. Et euh, au cours du séminaire, mon Emilia nous parlera du, du sens de ces 16 mystères dont nous sommes issus. I will stop just long enough right there on on Kanka, the old witch, and to show you a plant. It could be a tree. It could be anything. It, this is the earth across here. This is the root. Every tree, every plant has a tap root. Goes and drinks water. Every plant has the same. They go and they, if the water, if the, if things start to dry, there's no rain, the root goes further and further and further, it just keeps going, and it works with the water level. And one drinks air, the outside plant drinks air. So inside of every plant, one is negative, 
The other one is positive and goes up and down. One drinks water, the other one takes the air. And this is what keeps the plant living. So any given time you approach this plant, they have a life. They're living. They're not dead like we think. They are living. Trees, plants and weeds, they all are living. So when you come here to this place, you pray. So this plant becomes positive. The plant becomes happy. And you offer tobacco. You offer, if you have no tobacco, you offer dirt. Always to the west, to the north, to the east, to the south. Always to the west first, in this way. You offer tobacco to the four directions of the wind. And then you offer to the Creator, up above, then to the earth. In six, there are six directions. The four cardinal points to the Creator, to the earth. You offer tobacco here on the base of the tree or the plant. And then you will get a positive reaction. And if you pray here to this plant, let's say this is a plant, and you don't feel nothing, then you leave it, don't touch it. Then you go to the next plant, that is the brother of this, and then you do the same thing. You feel no reaction, you go to the next one. You don't just take them. If you pray, then you get the feeling. Then maybe this last one you went to, you can feel itself giving, you know. And what this plant is saying is, take me for what you are going to take me for. So you take the plant and you don't break it off right here. If you, this is going to be for healing ceremony, you take the entire thing, you take the root also. You pull it out. And then you take it, and you wash it, and you boil it, and then you use it to cure somebody. And after it is used, it is burned. You don't just throw it away. You burn everything you use in life. You throw them, you just don't throw them, you use them. So here is the area where Kanka resides. Kanka lives here. In the negative force, of all plants and trees and the roots. Kanka, this is where this witch, the old woman, resides. And if you can think about today's European teaching, you talk about a witch with a big nose and you know with a long hat like this, you know, and, and it's always brewing something, you know making some kind of bat wings and all this kind of stuff, you know. In Halloween time, like tonight's Halloween. You know? Just remember. But today, they, that's the association. But think back. Hundreds of years ago, the connection to this, which you call Halloween, and the witch riding on a broom going by, these are the th connections, the ancient connections that I'm teaching you now. How they got their start, where they started from. And we still live them so we can teach you what it was in the past. And to the present, that's where you lost your connection. You associated with just a witch on the broom, while we associated with the negative that resides in each and every plant. Il a donné des explications au sujet de Kanka. Quand on est en face d'une plante, il 
y a le niveau de la terre, une partie dans, dans la terre et une partie dans l'air. La partie qui est dans la terre, ce sont les racines, et il y a une racine principale dont le rôle est d'aller chercher l'eau. Plus, plus la terre est sèche, plus il y a la sécheresse, plus cette racine ira profond dans la terre pour aller chercher l'eau dont, dont la plante a besoin. Toute la partie aérienne de la plante ou de l'arbre euh, bois de l'air et à l'intérieur de la plante il y a deux circuits un circuit négatif et un circuit positif quand on arrive vers la plante et qu'on veut l'accueillir il faut prier quand on prie vers la, euh, pour la plante la plante est heureuse et se met en énergie positive. Pour prier, on offre du tabac. Si on n'a pas de tabac, on offre de la poussière de terre et on offre dans les six directions. On commence par l'ouest, puis le nord, puis l'est, puis le sud, puis en l'air pour le créateur et en bas pour la terre. Les quatre directions ouest, nord, est et sud sont mises dans cet ordre autour de l'arbre, au, au pied de l'arbre ou au pied de la plante. Et quand on veut cueillir des plantes pour soigner, il faut faire ça à chaque plante. Et si on ne sent rien en retour, s'il n'y a pas de, de, de sentiment qui passe entre la plante et soi-même, il faut aller à une plante semblable, à côté, prendre la, la plante qui pousse à côté, et répéter le, ce qu'on a fait, la prière avec les offrandes, jusqu'à ce qu'on accepte, jusqu'à ce qu'il y ait une plante qui accepte d'être cueillie. Et quand elle accepte d'être cueillie, il ne faut pas couper la plante, il faut prendre toute la plante, c'est-à-dire tirer la racine avec la tige et les fleurs et les feuilles. Arriver quand on veut l'utiliser, il faut la laver et l'utiliser comme on veut, faire, la, faire des tisanes, des, des coctions, tout, tout ce dont on veut faire avec. Mais après l'avoir utilisé, il ne faut pas la jeter. Il faut la brûler parce que dans notre vie, tout ce qu'on utilise, on le brûle. Et tout dans ce cas-là. Alors qu'un cas, dans ce, cette histoire-là, c'est tout le côté négatif de la plante. Et la sorcière, la vieille femme, est relié à cette partie négative. La chose, le temps précis de l'année où on est, ce soir, c'est une fête qui s'appelle Halloween. J'ai aucune traduction au mot. C'est à tout ça. C'est à tout ça. D'accord. Et la sorcière est, est liée. Enfin, on a, on a. Là, il y a une confusion, parce que je n'ai pas tout, 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 tout gardé dans ma tête. Il a parlé des sorcières, on a gardé ouais. uniquement la vision de cette vieille femme qui vole sur des balais, oui, qui est toujours est en train de faire des, des décoctions dans des chaudrons. C'est-à-dire qu'on a perdu le sens de ce qu'est Kanka. Voilà. Et que les Mdir, parce qu'il est, qu est Métiman, euh, peut nous dire quel est le réel sens de Kanka. C'est celle qui représente donc les forces négatives de la plante. Et il y a tout un enseignement dans Kanka qui n'est pas simplement la vieille bonne femme euh, au nez crochu qui se balade sur un balai pour faire du folklore euh, euh, et faire des petits masques rougeoyants le soir de Halloween. Merci. Then we come to Ksa, which is the goddess of the water. 
the greatest of all, all of them. Ksa was the most beautiful of all the feminine, feminine part of the creation. And years ago, in the very beginning of time, there was no male and female. But when it became the associates, the creation, which I will get to later, Ksa was the most beautiful of all, of everything created in the world. Everything. It was the first one, the first female feminine, and it was the most beautiful. And it was Ksa who brought every green thing in life. Trees and plants and flowers. It was through her came everything. It came the berries, and vegetables and all things that the human can live. It was from her that all things came and the plants underneath the waters. But in time, in millions of years, Ksa was destined to become the goddess of the water. And today she resides there as the goddess of the water. She is in charge of everything in water and life. She is in charge as the earth and its water flows. When the water flows in the rivers, it is associated with the ministration of a woman. The water flows, purifying, always purifying itself. And that is the water flow. Again, there is the goddess. And it flows to the sea and it returns back. You are a fluid of water and you return to the sea. Always returning for the goddess of the water has intended it to be this way. She has made all things in this way and with the permission of the motion, one of the sixteen great mysteries, who was a god also, who was a spirit, a great spirit, who gave the permission to her to beautify all things in life. And that is her destiny. Hers is to reside deep in the sea, in the water, in the oceans. And it creates problems too. It creates problems of undercurrent, hurricanes, tornadoes. It creates problems from here. So she's part of destruction and construction of humans. So he knows the position the goddess of the waters and holds a very, very important position in life. But it is, resides for the day that the goddess of the water as a spirit comes back. It will beautify the earth again, but it will destroy mankind. For man is only made to serve the Creator and these gods. We, this is our destiny, to serve these great mysteries. We are here only for that purpose, to serve the great mysteries. The great mysteries, the highest one is the Creator, and his mysteries that sit around him. You might say they are like, sort of like, the kings, they are, you are there to serve them. And that was the intention of the Creator in the very beginning of time. Ça, c'est la plus grande 
est la plus belle des, des créatures féminines. Au début de toute, de toute chose, il n'y avait pas de sexe. Il n'y avait ni sexe, ni, ni mâle, ni femelle. Et que ça a été la première à être créée euh, avec le sexe euh, féminin. C'est la plus belle. Elle a euh, un grand pouvoir. Elle est responsable de la vie. Elle est présente dans l'eau, c'est son lieu. Et tout, tout ce qu'elle fait est en cycle. Il y a toujours des... L'eau part d'un point, arrive à la mer et retourne d'où elle vient. Elle est responsable des plantes, des fleurs, des arbres, de tout ce qui est vert. Elle est responsable aussi de tout ce qui est dans l'eau. Il a dit une chose sur la... Et elle est responsable aussi des problèmes que crée l'eau, c'est-à-dire les tornades, les ouragans, euh, les... Les... Les, ora... enfin, pas les orages, mais... toutes les tempêtes. Toutes les tempêtes. Là, je crois que, que ça symbolise euh, <coughs> le pôle négatif, c'est-à-dire euh, bon féminin, la force euh, féminine euh, génératrice qui, qui crée, euh, qui est donc associée à l'eau d'une manière générale, puisque la Terre... Euh, euh, au départ, bon, était que de l'eau, c'est là où ça fait compte, c'est-à-dire donc la, la féminité d'une manière générale, mais pas à prendre évidemment au sens du, mmh. du sexe euh, restrictif. Elle a donc une fonction purificatrice comme l'eau, euh, cyclique et également. Comme la, comme la féminine, oui. C'est ça que j'avais pu raccorder comme elle elle est elle est donc euh, responsable aussi bien des, des, de, de tout ce qui peut être construit comme de la destruction. Ouais, c est, c est, elle est le, le, le cycle en elle-même. Bon, elle est animée par euh, une force, une autre force, il en a parlé euh, très, très rapidement, mais qu'on peut penser être euh, donc la force active, positive. C'est ça, c'est des et, euh, et apparemment, bon, il, euh, il semblerait que cette force ne l'anime la, ne, ne pas toujours, c'est-à-dire que donc euh, il y a eu une impulsion euh, positive qui est donc reçue par XA, qui est euh, négatif, fécondateur, générateur, et euh, à ce moment-là, bon, elle rentre dans son cycle et euh, le jour où cette force euh, active euh, intervient à nouveau, euh, l'homme probablement mourra et euh, XA sera en mesure de, de, de remplir de nouveau sa fonction, d'embellir de, la terre, enfin de, de, de créer tout euh, dans le meilleur des mondes. Elle est vraiment responsable de la vie et de la beauté du monde. Then we go to now to Wazi the wizard, the old man. Wazi <coughs> the wind. Wazi the wind is the messenger of motion. One of the spirits is an associate to motion, everything that moves. Your eyes move, parts of your body moves, your heart beats, the heart moves, the heart pumps. Your nerves move, everything moves in your body. The earth moves, the trees, the plants, and everything has motion, has life. You call it life. We call it motion. Shkan is the name in our language. Shkan means 
move all of a sudden. It's gone. It comes to life. It lives. And the wind is the wind is the the messenger. But here in this one, the supernaturals, the wind, the wizard is the negative one. He takes life. He brings the rain, he brings the snows, brings the cold. Wazi is here. Sometimes when I go home among my own people, some of the medicine men will say to me, Wazi is here now. You know, they will say, Lame Deer is here. Instead of saying, Lame Deer is here, they would say, Wazi is here. You know, and get prepared. Wazi is here. It's going to bring the rain and the snows and everything. You know? So they always associate me that way everywhere I go. And among my own people, Wazi is here. He brings the rain and cold, and he takes life, and freezes people, and drowns people, and they get killed in the weather. And because of the change of the weather, they die. <clears throat> He's involved with all this, but it is a necessity. It is a necessity that it has to be done that way. And if you're there to die, you will die. If it's your destiny, then you go. You are the sacrifice of Wazi, and become part of it. Wazi, the negative, is the wind, the north, east, west, and south. <clears throat> there is also another one, the next one, Tob Tob, the four by four. Tob means four. Two of them means four by four. It extends out to eight. There's eight of them, four by four. <clears throat> and these are the four directions of the wind. They are not the four winds. You have a north, east, west, and south as the directions, as they sit. And in between there, you have um, the northwest, northeast, southeast, and southwest. That's known as the four directions of the wind. And it's kind of funny that some of our own people today call themselves four directions. They don't know what they're saying. What they're saying is they're negative, you know, because that's the negative force, the four directions of the wind. From these winds, from these points, brings disasters negative things. It brings everything. It brings fire, it brings waters, it brings everything. It makes everything go in a circle. It's to create problems. There's a negative force. Top to in the four directions of the wind. These two are negative. Later on I will show you where they are positive. Uh, we are now talking about the supernaturals. This is a very unusual because I never start with the supernaturals. That no. you start asking about supernaturals right away. <clears throat> Wazi, the wind is there again. And the wizard, as I said, is a vitalizer, negative vitalizer. The waters and the snows is Wazi. Tob Tob, the four directions, and then the wind, the negative. It is a messenger. Motion has two messengers, a negative and a positive. He brings message to the positive, he brings message to the negative. And when he is negative, here is called, also his name is Khate. <coughs> the sound, the sound of the of the words that you have in there. Kate. E is pronounced like a A. Kate. Or Anungite. It's not Anungiti. You pronounce E like an E. But you have a mark on top of the. Kate. 
or then go to the next one. When you combine these, the four directions, the four directions of the wind and the wind, all eight directions, if you combine them, if you combine these and then you bring in the vitalizers, the vitalizers, the four directions, you have three of them. And when you bring those together, you have this. But it goes this way. And it's called Yumani. And these winds, eight winds, bring this circling to the right with the weather and it brings tornadoes and the hurricanes. They f revolve to the right. They never revolve to the left. Always this way. It's coming. Now this one is connected with the planet Uranus. The planet Uranus. Uranus is connected here in astrology. Connection is Uranus. So we'll, we'll get into astrology, how that one comes in, in the spirit of the teachings. <clears throat> but now I have connected all of them, the eight supernaturals. We have eight, you have only one that you know of. But you put it, associate him as a funny little person, a little man like this. That's the only revenant that you have left. Even among the kahunas of Hawaii. I've teach there also. I teach two women and two men who are kahunas. I teach their medicine people. I teach them also to teach them that all you have is malahuni, the little man, the leprechaun. We have eight of them. And how they affect your life in this life. It is an ultimate teaching. The problems you have are all right here. The negative problems and how they affect your life. And if you use them right and understand these things, then you will have no problems. You know exactly where it's coming from and you know exactly what to do. The moment the negative force, the negative forces of the eight supernatural comes from the water, you get something negative. Your flow, your moon time, your ministration. You have a problem. This is where it's coming from, from the waters. It's a flow you know, the, of yourself, of the women. This is always, the goddess of water is there. Isn't it better to take tobacco to the stream, to the water where it flows, and offer a prayer and tobacco to the flowing water or to the ocean, and your problem is solved. Your flow becomes natural again. But if you don't do that, then because you are educated, you don't understand these things. So your everything is drawn inside. And in time, this problem that you have like this, like a woman doesn't understand her ministerial flow, pulls it together, or this man or this man woman, they work with other people. If I took all your problems and condensed them, I would get a terrific pain in the solar plex of my body. And I must know how to get rid of it. People don't know how to get rid of it. So it builds and builds and builds inside. And eventually it goes out to the weak bodies, the weak part of your physical. And you wind up with what you call cancer or ulcers. You wind up with a problem with your mind. And if you know how to release it, you don't have to worry about it. The problems of other people is for you to solve. If one day you want to be a teacher, the problems of other people you take, you solve them, and make sure you dissolve it, get rid of it, let it go. And when you let it go, then you open again for other people. 
and you keep walk, working this way. Like in, in uh, St. Michel de Gromont, we I teach psychiatrists there. All these people who come there, there are 70 psychiatrists who come there to learn. You know, this is a new innovation of a new teaching. This teaching is not like Freud. This teaching is not like Young. They are only connected basics. But this teaching is for you, the human, so that you can take care of yourself and you learn how to take care of yourself. The work of the psychiatrist will never end so long as there is humans. For there are people, we reach this many people, but there are thousands we have not reached. And we must go out and reach them also and teach them the right thing. And the things that I'm teaching you cannot be negative. They have to be positive. They ha have to teach you the right thing. <clears throat> I have never... Only the writing that you see here is the first writings that I have done. But behind this writing is teachings that is phenomenal, is big. And I have not read a book to read these from a book. These are things my grandfathers have taught me. Things I do not know, I go to the mountain for four days and four nights. There the Creator takes you. Here, here this, this is the way it is. Look at it, your eyes are good, you can see and you can see how it was in the past and use it for the betterment of mankind. So you go out and you try to teach it to the humans so that you may learn something about yourself. I want to teach you something about yourself, why you're here and what you're going to do. And you're not here because you want, you want to be here. You are here because something guided you here. Because you want to change is why you're here. You didn't come here because you don't want to change. You want to change not only your ideas and your thoughts, but never mind the parts where I am an Indian. Never mind, that is, is, is nothing. My blood is red like yours. I've taken a human form and I'm here to try to teach you these things. I am not the rebirth of Jesus Christ or no, neither in my Allah, a Buddha. I'm human like you, like taking a form. The only advantage I have is my connection to the Creator. And the Creator and what he teaches me, I have to pass it on. And these great mysteries, from them what they teach me. I am like a slave to them. But beyond being a slave to the great mysteries, my mind and thinking is beyond these 16 great mysteries. For I know that somebody created these great mysteries. And that's my connection to the Creator. So I can argue with the 16 great mysteries. On a mountaintop in the time of prayer, I can argue with all these. And in time, you understand the workings of the earth and you can change things. You can change the weather. You can change the earth. You can change the water. You can create earthquakes. This is the ultimate teaching. To know where you stand in life. <clears throat> you are here for a reason. Mine is not here yet. It's not 100% here. I'm here now as a teacher. 
But in a little while, I have to go beyond this teacher stage. I don't know when. I might never go fishing like I want to. I might become fishing for men, humans. I don't know. But we all have our fantasies, so to speak. We want to go beyond. We, we don't want to be happy. We can't be where we are. We just like to go beyond. Because we know that there is an ultimate teaching further. And I know that you know, deep inside that some place, there is a place for you, some place, and you want to find it. And it's called reality, spirituality, to find what it is because of what your fathers have done to you, what your grandfathers have done to you. But they, are, they were here for a reason like you are here for a reason. So you must look beyond this reasoning and think about the future generation so that they will have a good life. They will understand these things that we talk about today. For that teaching is, is not finished, it's only a beginning. When I started teaching in 1980, I would never known the fact that I would be making this and it's connecting all things together. I know everything about these. I've been taught by my grandfathers. And now, as I start to connect them to humans, somebody is guiding me. Something is guiding me to do this. I don't like it, but I can't do nothing about it. And it just goes on and on. All things come easy. Everything comes easy. Two days ago, a woman come up and said, Lame dear, I hear you have a problem. I said, no, not that I know of. Well, this will help you. And she wrote me a check for $50,000. You, know? you think this will help you with your problem? I said, it's not really a problem, but it's a little help. I said, I want to bring these medicine men over here. That was a problem I had. I had no finances to bring these medicine men. How am I going to bring them? I already told everybody I'm going to bring them. And here's this woman come out of nowhere. You know. and she, wrote, she wrote a check. I was completely shocked. You know, as he said, every time you buy a Swiss candy bar from Lynn, he said, that's where that money comes from. She's an heiress to the Swiss candy. You know, chocolate candy and she came to help you know she's a young woman come to help people are guided to do this you know it's, it's not this it's finances but it doesn't mean nothing it is me for a reason is to help people you know it is to help people on your road and my life is this way my family are never hungry when I'm traveling. My wife would say, she would say, she used to say, we have no money. You know, and I would tell her, don't worry about it. So I have to worry about it, you know. So why? Because there's no money in the bank. There's nowhere we can turn to, money's going to come in. And then some, a check comes in the mail. He said, is this what you're looking for? Every time you ask, here it is. He said, why should I worry about it? I said, I must keep on going and teaching. For people who help people must be helped also. And that was always my philosophy. You know, in the very, very beginning, people who help people must be helped also. And some people think in those terms, and they help. Many funny situations have happened in my life. Even getting thrown in jail during wounded knee. They put $50,000 bond so he can't get out. You know? Don't let lame deer out of that prison. 
put 50,000 so he can get out. That evening, Sammy Davis Jr., a black Jewish man, comes along and brings $50,000 cash. Yeah, get lame deer out. <laughs> is that, you know, is that a coincidence? You know, I would say it isn't. We are all here for a reason. And we do it at a spur of the moment. And we don't know why we did it. But it was for a reason. And it helped. They threw everything out. They couldn't keep me in jail. And President Nixon said, said to me on the telephone, Lame dear, I'm sorry. The first president who ever said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this has happened to you. I'm sorry the FBI came after you like this. He said, go on with your work. He said, it means so much to us. Go on. So here is a president, and in later later years they put him out of his office, you know. But he's a man who helped me. This one who's president hasn't helped me yet, but Mr. Carter did also help. So each one is destined, you know, for some reason they're there you know, to help. And it's a good feeling, and you're here for those reasons also so that you can learn and apply it to your life and teach it to somebody else. That which is good, keep it with you and it broadens your mind so you can become a better person to help more people. And in this way you learn. You just don't put it in here and forget about it. You have to hold it and keep it with you all your life. You can teach your children. Qui a des problèmes de compréhension? Oui, parce que c'est très bon. Bon. Explain. Excuse me. Je traduis. Je vais essayer de reprendre. Mais alors, tous ceux qui ont compris, ils font des petits bouchons. On fait une traduction. Oui. Parce que. Il a commencé par les... Parce que c'est... Il, il, il y a eu deux parties hein, dans son discours. Il y a eu une première partie un peu technique, là, à propos de Oasi, Top Top et Tata. Et après, bon, il a, il a surtout parlé de, de, du hasard qui n'en est pas. C'est-à-dire que, bon, nous sommes tous ici pour une bonne raison, qui, qui nous est probablement inconnue, mais mais qui existe quand même, qui lui-même euh, vit en fonction de, de, de ce hasard qui n'en est pas, c'est-à-dire que quand il manque d'argent, il euh, y a toujours quelqu'un pour euh, lui en donner. Et, euh, il disait que celui qui aide les autres a en retour une aide qui viendra toujours, à un oui. moment clé, c'est ça C'est ça. Mais parler d'être guidé, hein C'est ça. Mmh. Et bon, je, je crois que tout, toute la deuxième partie de son discours, bon, c'était une application de cette, euh, de cette loi euh, du hasard qui n'en est pas, à savoir donc euh, les gens qui, qui sont là pour aider les autres. Euh, Recevront, ça, 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 ça fait une espèce de chaîne de, de, de solidarité. Il n'y a pas dit aussi que ceux qui aidaient avaient besoin d'être aidés. Avaient besoin d'être aidés. Oui, mais le sont automatiquement. Mmh. Voilà, C'est-à-dire, bon, c'est aussi la, le. Parle aussi, bon, de, si, si on arrive à, à ne plus se soucier, parce qu'il parlait de sa femme qui, qui lui disait, mais dis donc, il faut bien qu'on mange, etc. Dans la mesure où on arrive à se libérer de, de cette idée, de ce problème, il peut être sûr que, bon, en l'occurrence pour eux, pour sa famille, il peut être sûr que par la poste arrivera un chèque le, le jour où sa femme oublie, euh, enfin n'est plus omnubilée par ce, ce problème, mmh. hop, ça vient. Ah, C'était ça c'est le fait de, de ne pas être omnubilé par un problème et automatiquement la chose dont on a besoin arrive. Lâcher prise, oui. C'est ça, lâcher prise, c'est mmh. la théorie du lâcher prise. Bon, maintenant, je crois que bon, c'est surtout le, la partie technique au début. Ça, là, je te laisse faire, mmh. peut-être. Oisy, c'était... Les, les quatre derniers, si j'ai bien compris, ils sont tous négatifs. Hein. Mais ils ont tous à voir quelque chose avec le bon. Voilà. C'est ça. Ils ont bon, tous... je crois que quand même, enfin, je voudrais juste amener une petite précision. Euh, quand, il, quand il parle de, de négatif, 
je pense qu'il faut le, le comprendre dans, dans un sens très large. C'est-à-dire, bon, négatif, c'est vrai qu'on vit les choses sur un mode négatif, mais négatif veut dire surtout euh, créateur et générateur. Et non pas forcément... Ça veut pas dire mauvais. Ça veut pas dire mauvais. Ouais, Alors il faut faire très attention à, à cette confusion possible, parce que, bon, euh, euh, par exemple, bon, il parle de, de Oasi qui est le, qui est le mouvement qui est donc le vent, comme il, parlait, euh, comme il disait aussi tout à l'heure, et donc qui, euh, qui représente euh, le véhicule négatif. Mais négatif, c'est-à-dire, bon, il emporte la vie, mais il l'amène également. Mmh. C'est un élément de plein de vitalité. Et il parlait des quatre vents. C'est là où il a dessiné, il a repointé l'ouest, le nord, l'est et le sud. Ils sont, ils sont reliés à ces quatre, à ces quatre points. Parce que, par exemple, Stockton est... Euh, C'est les directions, non pas les... C'est pour ça que je n'ai pas voulu dire les quatre directions du vent. Mm -hmm. C'est pour ça que je, je me suis reprise, j'ai parlé des quatre vents. Parce que les quatre directions, ce sont des points intermédiaires. Nord-Est, Est, Sud-Est, euh, Sud-Ouest et Nord-Ouest. Et ces, ces quatre directions sont aussi... Euh, tout en turbulence, en... c'est toutes des choses reliées au vent, des, des mouvements, des, et toujours de, de destruction, ça arrive toujours à quelque chose de détruit. Tâté, je sais pas, je me souviens plus. Ben... J'ai retenu qu'une chose, c'est que c'est tout, tout relié au vent, et que c'est toujours quelque chose de, de négatif. Sauf le top top, c'est vraiment destructeur, il a parlé de destruction, je sais plus. Mais il a dit vent. après que... Oumni, euh, ah oui, c'est quand les quatre, et, les oui, quatre, oui. Les quatre quand se, les se mettent huit. ensemble, quand, huit. Huit. Quand, quand tout se, se mélange et ça donne des tourbillons. Voilà, ça, ça, voilà c'est ça. ça. Oui. Et ça tourne toujours dans un sens Et ça tourne toujours dans le sens comme ça. Ah, oui. Toujours à la droite, ça tourne toujours de gauche à la droite. Dans le sens contraire des aiguilles du bon être. C'est bon tâté, c'est effectivement le symbole négatif, mais bon, dans, dans le sens euh, large du terme. Comme, euh, comme ouais, ce que j'avais pas compris, c'est qu'il parlait des quatre directions. Et à un moment, je crois, peut-être que j'ai pas bien entendu, qu'il a parlé de 3 plus 1 qui faisait 4 et ça faisait 8 alors. Oui, ça c'est pas possible. Hein? Moi, je dois dire que là, euh... Mais peut-être c'est une mauvaise compréhension de ça, je sais pas. Ouais. Parce que au début, quand il parlait de top top, il disait que top ça voulait dire 4. 4, oui. Ouais, top et top, top c'est 4 fois 4. 4 fois 4. Ouais. Mais là, là c'est là où j'ai pas compris, parce que 4 fois 4, ça fait 16, et là, on arrive à une. Ah, là, je sais pas. Ah, ouais, c'est Là, il doit y avoir une histoire de, de les... linguistique, de, ouais. de façon de dire. Ouais, je crois que c'est top top, c'est. Il n'y a, y a pas de signe à mettre en entre, hein, c'est 4 et 4, c'est-à-dire, bon, euh, les, les 4 absolus dans, dans le sens des. des des points cardinaux et des quatre éléments, etc. Plus les, les quatre, enfin c'est pas plus, mais et entre autres les quatre, les quatre positions intermédiaires par rapport aux, par rapport aux, aux, aux quatre éléments et aux quatre points cardinaux qui eux sont fixes. Can you explain us another time? Uh, t, T, K, uh, wait, K, T, 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 And he's explained the supernaturals and how they work, <coughs> in, you know, in the teachings. So when you, this way, you know, when something happens to you, right away you think you're doing something wrong. You know. Somebody's teaching you, telling you, it's time to pray a little bit. You know. So therefore, you must learn how to pray for yourself, for the right things. Now, in another world, in another teaching, it is a means of control, controlling you, the human. But to go beyond this is to learn to pray for yourself, learn to pray for all things. 
in the world of prayer, <coughs> prayer to the Creator. You always remember to pray for the future generations. What you pray for, who you pray for, the future generations, the children who are not born yet, you pray for them. And you pray for the young people, those that are innocent, the form of life, very small, so that their minds will be guided. You pray for the old people. The old people are you. You are the old people. You might not consider yourself old, but once you pass the age of 12, you fall into this. Because you are, fall, you are falling into, you are past the formative years. And now you are into the world of the intelligent, learning about intelligence being intelligent, educated, are into that once you pass this. <clears throat> so, then you pray for the animal world, those that walk on two legs and four legs, those that crawl, snakes, swim, the fish, fly, the birds, you pray for all these that have been given life to help us. Those four you must always remember. Then you think about the air that you breathe. The air, <clears throat> you pray for the air so that it, it be not polluted. To pollute the air, like industrial society over here, to pollute the air is the highest form of, you might say, destruction. It is, you might say, the highest of all the sins of the world of the Creator. To pollute the air is to destroy not only you, but also the spirits, the ghosts, the spirit of your grandfathers. For this air, you think it is air, that goes into your nose and out. You think that's all it does. But it does more than that. It is what you call a soul. My soul is pure, a Catholic man would say. And I laugh in his face. How foolish you are, because you are not pure. You show me when the air is pure, and I will show you a clean soul. For this same air that we are breathing now is the same air that was used by the ancient people. That same air that's going in you right now is the same air that is being used by people of the past. So you're sitting here breathing the same air that the ancient people have used. Now the water. The same as the water. The raindrops, the vitalizer, comes from the ocean. It goes to the air with the help of the sun. It becomes a mist, a dew, a raindrop falls upon the ground and falls upon the ground and travels back to the sea, to the rivers. This one raindrop, it travels at the rate of one inch a year. And sometimes it takes thousands of years for this raindrop to come to the river, to the little stream it comes to the lake, it goes to a bigger river, it comes back to the ocean, and it comes back as a raindrop. Four million years have passed from that time that it made this circle of life. It took that long for this raindrop to make a circle like this. 
And if you see the bodies of water everywhere, the big oceans, and how they go, this same water that you drink, when you drink water, it's the same water some fish went through its body millions of years ago. If you can think about that and how it resolves, how it goes through your body and sometimes it stays in your body and then you you die and you go to the earth. When you go to the earth, your body, the fluids go away and then it it forms a raindrop someday. Someday your body will, the body, the fluid you have will become a raindrop to replenish the earth. And that's why I say there is no way for you to escape. You cannot leave. You will come back to the earth one day. And you will come to my mother and you will replenish my mother. It's the ultimate plan of the Creator with the help of these 16 great mysteries. <clears throat> so this, the water, the air, the fire, the heat created your electricity, the fire to keep warm comes from the sun. The sun is the giver of energy. With this heat, all things are possible. On this earth, 